Welcome to Spoonful Experiences. My name is Deb Martine. I and my husband, Dr. David, are co-owners of Lotus Blossom Clinic in South Fort Myers, Florida. Thank you for joining us today for part two of a four-part Telesummit series. For those of you watching live, we have two more each the next two Sundays at 1 p.m. Eastern time. For those of you watching on YouTube, you will find the additional ones there as well. Today we have five videos to share from five of our wonderful practitioners. First up, Dr. David Martin. He is a doctor of oriental medicine and an acupuncture physician in the state of Florida. He is assisted by a new member of our clinic team, Blossom the Puppet. This video is a lighthearted look at a very serious topic, our immunity kit. For a more serious look at it, you can always call Dr. David Martin for a consultation about this kit in order to meet your specific needs. Vicki Gilardi, next up, is a medicinal food consultant at the clinic. Vicki has a vast amount of knowledge regarding the use of food and supplements. She is certified in the Conquering Any Disease Phytochemical Food Healing System, and she works together with and under the supervision of Dr. David Martin to provide dietary guidelines for his patients. She will share more depth with you about vitamin C and the probiotic environmental purifier spray which we use to disinfect our surfaces at Lotus Blossom Clinic. Next up, Jenny Lee Caccioni is a certified EFT Emotional Freedom Technique Practitioner. She is also a joyful journey coach at Lotus Blossom Clinic, and these days also online. As you'll find out, she works with the ancient Chinese meridian system, just as Dr. David Martin does. Jenny is skilled at helping people relieve emotional blocks, which can and often do lead to physical symptoms. In our fourth video, Dr. David unveils some traditional Chinese medicine, allowing you to peek underneath the veil to capture a few specific acupressure points to use for specific symptom management. You may want to take notes, and good thing you can watch this video again. Today, he will teach you symptom relieving points for fever, cough, asthma, and a few other issues such as headaches. Last up, Phyllis Brooks Leitzis, Master of Social Work, licensed independent social worker. To her rich background of mental wellness, she adds certified international deep imagery practitioner and trainer. Phyllis, also known as Fee at the clinic, will open up a whole new world of possibility for you with deep soul imagery. Now sit back with a tall glass of water or kombucha and enjoy today's Telesummit video. Okay, you're on. Oh, oh. <gasps> Achoo! Blossom here from Lotus Blossom Clinic. I am the unofficial spokes puppet for Lotus Blossom Clinic, open in Southwest Fort Myers since 2007. Today, I'm speaking with Dr. David Martin, our doctor of oriental medicine and acupuncture physician. Uh, hello, Dr. Martin. Uh, uh, achoo! Yes, Blossom, I heard you sneeze. Are you okay? I think I'm allergic to the camera. I think a lot of us are allergic to the camera. Did you know that at Lotus Blossom Clinic, we have an immunity kit that can help protect you from colds, flu, and even those seasonal allergies? Uh, uh, achoo! I am all ears. Actually, I am probably only 20% ears, but I am listening. Okay, in our immunity kit, we've included a bunch of great supplements like vitamin C, which is well known during flu season to help. And we have a very potent vitamin C. It's very absorbable and it builds your immunity. It's a great antioxidant and it is a buffer, so it's easy on your stomach. And it's also time released. Wow, my grandmom has that at home. It's a grandmom approved product. <laughs> yes, it is. Oh, you also have a zinc in our immunity kit, which is good because zinc helps uh, your enzymes do their work to help your immune system, and it also helps you grow and develop. So when you don't have enough zinc, you just get weaker. Uh, we, you want it to help you grow and get stronger in all ways. 
Wow, and I just thought zinc was a metal with an atomic number of 30, a melting point of 787 degrees Fahrenheit, and a density of 7.149 grams per cubic centimeter. I like zinc. <laughs> you obviously do like zinc. Our kid also has vitamin D3, which is critical to all body functions. And it's, uh, it helps you build your immune cells and it helps them to fight off infection. So it's very useful for, for immunity as well as the bones. And uh, everybody should be really getting a little more sunlight to make sure you get enough D3. But you can also take the supplement to help out. Wow, and I think that I've heard all over the place that most people are deficient in D3. This is really critical for people. And I take it for bone health. Well, right now, Dr. Martin, it seems like the world has a lot of pathogens, viruses, and bacteria. I need some vitamin D3. Yes, we all do, actually. Uh, another thing we have in our kit is jade windscreen. And that's a Chinese herbal formula. Oh, oh, I know the, about this one. Dr. Zhu Shen Hang put this formula in his book in 1481, just about the time Columbus was planning to sail to America. This is the formula you take before you get sick, so you don't get sick. It boosts your immunity and helps your body defend against pathogens. That's right, Blossom. Can you tell me more about the other two Chinese herbs we have in our kit, we have uh, Yin Chao San and Gan Ma Ling. Oh, my favorites. Yin Chao San is always used at the very first sign of symptoms like a sore throat or a fever or a respiratory pathogen. It helps stop you from getting too sick. And it's really a very effective antiviral. Gan Mao Ling is used similarly, except that it has more immunity boosting functions. It is in the kit because you need to have it on hand at the first sign of a fever. You don't want to wait to have to go out and buy it. Well, Dr. Martin, is there anything else in the kit? Yes, we have medicinal mushrooms in the kit. You know, medicinal mushrooms have been part of Chinese medicine for centuries and they still are. So uh, we have uh, herbal formulas that include these mushrooms that help um, boost your immunity and fight pathogens. Wow, cool. And I think there's probably some probiotics in there too. There's always probiotics, right? That's right. Well, that is a lot of stuff. Do I need to get it all? Well, no, that's the beauty of the kit. The kit is you know, if you're, if you're young and strong and healthy, you might not need everything in the kit, just some part of it. Well, but if you're older and weaker and sick already, you might want to get it all. That's true. Well, that is our video. I hope you like it. Thank you for stopping by, Dr. Martin. Absolutely. Martine. Stay healthy, folks. Uh, achoo! I'm going to get some of those Chinese herbs right now. You can find Lotus Blossom Clinic's immunity kit with these and a few other items in the online store at lotusblossomclinic.com or come to our clinic pharmacy in South Fort Myers. For more spoonful experience videos like this, please click the subscribe button below and also the little bell, which will give an alarm when there's a new video. So good night, good afternoon, good day from wherever you are viewing us, folks. Thanks for tuning in. Bye. Hello, I'm Vicki Gilardi. I'm the food consultant at Lotus Blossom Clinic. Um, I've been there for six years, but I've been doing food consulting for decades. It's what I love to do. Uh, today, I want to talk to you a little bit about immunity and how to keep your immune system up, which I think we're all concerned about right now. Uh, the number one antioxidant and immune booster that I know of is vitamin C. Um, it, we have cancer patients that have been with us for three, four, five years on six and 8,000 milligrams of vitamin C a day. 
Um, we have, um, I know of others that take it intravenously. It's just, it boosts the immune system. Uh, Linus Pauling, who decades ago, he, he came up with the, uh, all the research on vitamin C and what vitamin C can do uh, for your body and how it raises immunity, how it fights disease. He took 20,000 units a day. He lived till he was 95. So I think that's pretty good statistics. Um, we have it at the clinic. We sell it at the clinic. Uh, we put it in an immunity kit that we have there uh, with some other herbs and like mushrooms and some other things that, that we feel will boost your immunity, uh, keep your immunity up, keep you resistant to diseases. Uh, and you can buy it singularly or in, in our immunity kit. Um, if this particular one is Metagenics. It's a thousand milligrams. It's a gentle buffered uh, product, which is easy on the stomach. And it has a, a good, uh, a, a good uh, absorption rate. So you would take like, if you have a cold, one in the morning, one in the afternoon, one in the evening. You don't take all your vitamin C all at once because it just goes right through the body. So you have to space it out over the day. So um, I love vitamin C. I recommend it highly. And um, we should have at least, you know, one or 2,000 milligrams in everyday life. But in a, an environment like we have now, I recommend more. So uh, there's another thing though I want to talk about for immunity and for resisting disease. And it is Siani uh, Probiotic Body Care Environmental Spray. It's a spray, okay? I spray it in my house. I spray it on my doorknobs. I spray my bed at night. I spray my dog. I even spray my mailbox. Well, what is this magical spray? It's simply a probiotic, a probiotic. And what it does is it eats through the biofilm uh, of your body. Now, what is, the, what is this biofilm? Well, biofilm is plaque in your mouth. A biofilm li film lives on your skin. It's inside your body. It's on countertops. It's all over. And that's what pathogens feed off of. They need biofilm or they won't survive. Now, once they eat the biofilm, they eat it to get to the host and they get in your body and they cause disease. So this particular uh, probiotic spray, it eats that biofilm. So then that, that pathogen has nothing to eat and it just can't penetrate you. So um, we also have this at the clinic. It's in our immunity kit, and you can also purchase it singularly. And it's just, a, a, I spray everything with it. And so far, so good. I spray my hands too, you know, um, and I just, I wipe myself with it. You know, it's a probiotic you put on topically. And later on, I'll tell you more about uh, probiotics you take internally. But for now, if you like this little video, please click like and subscribe to the channel. And uh, I hope I see you soon at the clinic. And uh, if you would like to talk with me anytime, feel free, just call Lotus Blossom Clinic. Hello everybody, it's Jenny Lisa Kong a joyful living sole purpose coach and an EFT practitioner helping for emotional freedom. Many spiritually oriented people, especially women, feel trapped in emotional and thought patterns and severely held back in life with seemingly complicated issues. I help them remove the hidden blocks so they could feel nurtured, re-energized and free to take the actions that matter to them and move forward. Usually, people came to me after they have already tried many things, meditations, different mindfulness exercises, but nothing really worked. Now, after years of 
suppressing their feelings and being stuck, they have developed physical symptoms, especially lately under the crazy you know, pandemic situation. I have worked with a lot of people on their symptoms like headaches, shoulders, neck, back, stiffness, pension, tension, and pains, and the serious insomnia. People could stay sleepless for days or even a couple of weeks. And the other one is shortness of breath and chest tightness. They are not infected with the virus, but just cannot breathe. And of course, fatigue and panic attack. So if you are experiencing some of them, of course, you already know that you are not alone and there is nothing wrong with you. But really, the point is the global fear energy really triggered many of us and shook off a lot of old stuff that have been buried inside of us for a long time. And some of them are not really our own stuff. It, they could be from our parents, family, the tribe, or even by generations. And I have to point it out this one. People like you and me, we, spiritually oriented and empathetic. We are loving, caring, and giving, and easily give away our energies without reserving and setting up healthy boundaries for ourselves. And we could easily absorb everybody's, literally the whole world's energy. And with the massive energies right now, the life, the reality, the problem, you know, we the symptoms, low energy level, we could not think and focus and, you know, definitely feel anxious and losing control. Usually we could find solutions, but not anymore. We are pulled different to different directions. And some of them even feel the fear of wasting time passing by life without fulfilling the life purpose, right? So I am actually the one like that many years ago. Personally, I went through a transformation experience and I got certifications, training, a lot of qualifications. And now the main tool I use is called EFT tapping, emotional freedom technique. It's also referred to as needle-free emotional acupuncture. EFT draws on the ancient wisdom of Chinese traditional medicine and the blends into insights of Western psychology. So the result, it's really a stress relief modality which can help us finally to understand, you know, because we want to figure things out, right? And limit those old patterns that got us stuck and even made us ill. And a being originally a Chinese gave me some advantage for studying and mastering this tool and technique well. So if you feel resonated with what I shared and me and my work, I have different formats ready for you to support you. I don't have time here to share more real cases and do demonstrations, but obviously you are welcome to join our every other Wednesday's free circle to experience the demonstration and the power for results from EFT healing and uh, releasing and shifting. Also, I have only now I do group online sessions. When everything is back, I will resume the group sessions in person in Lotus Clinic as well. And of course, the most powerful work is through one-on-one. -on -one. Welcome to book a free uh, private talk so we can get some clarity and see if I am the one to help you out to watch a lot of uh, know-how free videos. Also, you can subscribe my video channel under the name of 
Jenny Lee Sikong. Okay, so I really appreciate your watching today and I look forward to seeing you and supporting you soon. Oh yeah, finally, I want to thank you Dr. David and Martin for organizing such an, a, a wonderful event for the community. Don't forget to, surprise, uh, to subscribe, you know, uh, Lotus YouTube channel as well. Hello, my name is David Martin. I'm the acupuncture physician here at Lotus Blossom Clinic. And today we have a video uh, about acupuncture points that you can use for your acupressure. So the reason you don't see a lot of uh, videos like this about acupuncture is because the topic gets complicated you know, in a hurry. It's very very quickly. And of course, there is always a chance that you could make something worse. So, uh, here we go. There's some points, though, that we can use that are uh, symptomatic points that are pretty easy to use, and we're going to talk about those today. You know, with uh, acupuncture, you need to be very careful and accurate with the needles. Uh, but when you're doing acupressure, you've got this big old, you know, finger that you're using, and and you're going to hit the point pretty well. If you even if you're close, you're gonna you're gonna hit the point because you're you have such a big thing to use to, to find the point. So the first thing I want to talk about is fever. You know, many of, of us have had a family member that you know had a fever. And you just wanted to do something to help them, even if it's just a little bit. So um, here's a, a formula that uh, is used for fever, and uh, it includes gallbladder, uh, excuse me, governing vessel 14, which is uh, it's a point uh, on the. Uh, on this meridian. Don't worry about the names. You know the names uh, all have a naming convention, and it's very specific in Chinese medicine. But for you, if you would just use it as a label, a reference, so some way you can refer to the point. Then I'll show you where it is, uh, and then you have a name and a location, and that should get you what you need. So governing vessel fourteen is actually on your spine. You know, there's a, it's not a bilateral meridian. A lot of meridians are on the left and right. This one is just the one, so it's on your spine. And if you reach back and uh, if you find the big bone, just the, the neck and the first big bone uh, of, uh, of your thoracic vertebrae, really the first, the first thoracic, just above that, between the, the, where, the where the cervical vertebrae end and thoracic start, there's a point. And that's governing uh, vessel 14. And so pretty easy to find and you know pretty easy to reach so that's uh, the first point another point that we use in that formula is large intestine 11 and that's easy to find it or long sleeve shirt today unfortunately but the way you find it is it's really uh it's in the depression at the lateral end of the transverse cubital crease which means if you bend your arm okay at a 90 degree angle the uh, Get it to where you can see. Uh, right here at this crease, where the crease is, that is where the point is. And so it's also pretty easy to find. And of course, that's on both arms. So you can do that on both sides. Um, the last point in this formula is large intestine four. This is a, a point that's well known. Uh, uh, people have used it for a lot of different things. Um, you know, it's, uh, it's used for headaches and neck pain and redness and swelling of the eye and toothache, even facial paralysis. It's, it's a point that we use it for. But um, in this case, you know, we're going to use it uh, for the fever. And so um, it's pretty easy to find. It's on your hand. And there's a real easy way, specific way to find it. If you take your thumb, the point is here, but if you take your thumb, and just put the crease of your thumb on, on the web of your hand and roll your thumb over, that's where the point is. And so uh, you can see that, put your thumb on the crease, roll it over, and that's where the point is. Uh, and of course, on both sides. So there you have a formula for fever. The uh, next thing I wanna talk about is it's a formula for uh, cough or asthma. You've all 
and experience that ourselves. So um, the first point we, we would uh, use on that is circulation vessel number 22. And so that's a, a circulation vessel runs up the body. But point 22 on that is here in the V of your neck in this little uh, fossa right here. So right at the where the fossa starts, that's the point. It's not bilateral, there's only one of these. And so it's here. And the other thing that um, uh, we use for this, cough or asthma, is almost opposite to, to it. So remember we earlier we talked about governing vessel 14, which is here, just above that big bone. Uh, and so what you do is you go find that same point again, uh, just above that, that big bone on where the thoracic starts, thoracic vertebrae start, and uh, you move half a finger width over to the right or to the left. Uh, there's one in each side. And so you, uh, you can use that point. And that point is called Ding Chuan, Ding Chuan. And uh, it is not, it's an extra point. It's not one on, on a meridian. It's not one of the ones that you know, are the classic meridian points. But it's an extra point that is used all the time. And uh, that's it. I hope that um, that gave you some information. If you have questions, you can always call the clinic and um, uh, you know, give us a yell, uh, we'll help you out. So thank you and goodbye. Hi, my name is Fee Brooks Leitzis and I'm excited to be speaking with you today about deep soul imagery. Deep soul imagery meaning images that spontaneously come into our mind from a deep soul level, bringing healing and wholeness with them. Deep soul imagery is based in three concepts. First, Carl Jung's theory of active imagination. Secondly, the Eastern chakra system, those seven energy centers within our body, uh, swirling energy centers. And thirdly, the Native American belief in animals as messengers or symbolic carriers of wisdom. Deep soul imagery is a process like no other. It is a way of communicating directly with your inner chakra energy, finding out what it needs to be balanced and flow freely. We know that each chakra um, governs certain organs and systems within our body and the energy between and through them needs to be able to flow freely in order for us to be healthy. If one is too open or one's blocked and the balance is not there, that's a problem and it's going to lead potentially to illness and disease. So you could say that our chakras are our key to our health, both physically and emotionally. So during a session of deep soul imagery, after guiding you to a deep state of relaxation, we would then focus in on each of your chakras one at a time. Using your active imagination, you would call forth an animal guide, usually an animal, um, to come forth and appear and um, that guide represents the state of that chakra energy and can tell you something about it. It's always amazing to see what guide appears, often surprising, but somehow makes sense. It could be a serious guide, it could be very humorous, it could be um, have an accent, or it could be in a cage and needs to be freed. Once we have met all your chakra gods, we would then dialogue with them to find out what your energy needs to be balanced and for you to flow freely and for you to be healthy. As a licensed clinical therapist uh, with certification in Reiki and hypnosis, and at the time that I was introduced to Deep Soul Imagery, director of a holistic healing center, I recognized immediately the healing potential of deep soul imagery and knew I need to be trained in it 
so that I could offer it to others. Deep soul imagery leads us and allows us to tap into that vast depth of our own creativity, intuition, and inner knowing. It supports us and you could say bathes us in inner peace and unconditional love. It leads us to our soul center and beyond. Deep soul imagery was a threshold for me to another whole world as it has been for many others and as I believe it will be for you. I invite you to try deep soul imagery. It's exciting, breathtaking, surprising. Look forward to seeing you. Deep soul imagery. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed your video. Did you take some notes about the pearls of wisdom and the practices that you found today? There is always more. Join us next week and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Spoonful Experiences, Holistic and Natural. You'll be notified of our short Teaspoon Tuesday videos and other upcoming events. Be sure to join us immediately in part two of today's Telesummit, the practitioner panel. Myself and today's five practitioners are in a broadcast room waiting for you nearby. We are here to shed additional light on the topic of natural medicine. I encourage you to enter questions and comments into our chat. Where will you find us? Please note, the panel presentation will be in a separate post nearby, either above or below the one you are watching. Scroll around and look for our bright faces. We're waiting for you. See you there.